What's it, YouTube? I'm back with my third and final video today. Um, I'm not even going to try to say the whole title because I feel like I'm going to stumble over my words like I've been stumbling over the first two videos. So, basically, I'm right to Ellie Charlotte today. Um, she claims this one her, like, like a very important moment in her life. So we're going to react to it. We're going to see what's up. It's been, it's been a while since I read to any of the Sherlock videos and reason being, cause the last one I reacted to, like, I don't think y'all really received it well, or y'all probably didn't like my reaction to it. I'm not sure which one it is, but we're going to react to this one. We will see. So this is, this is why I'm not trying to talk too much. Cause Man, I don't know what what it is. I think it's cause like in the work the warehouse that I work in is so much dust and all that type of shit. So I'm kind of congested a little bit. So we're gonna hop into it. We're gonna see what's up. Make sure like I'm scrum share. Follow all my social media in the description below. They are all by dope ass. It's gonna hop to it. But nah, shoot. I don't know what it is. Shoot. One, two. Thank you. Story with us. Thank you so much. Let's turn this up a little bit. Our next performer is making her arena debut at the age of 17 after her performances busking on the streets of Dublin were viewed over 800 million times on YouTube. Accompanied by the Elmore String Quartet from the Royal Northern College of Music, this is the incredible Ali Sherlock with the Beatles in my life. Oh shit, hold on. Now we need to turn this up a little bit more. She got the court. She got a quartet. There are places I remember all my life. A little bit more, a little bit more. This is for me. Some forever, not for better. Some are gone. Okay, they they caught me off guard. Bro, bone breaking. With lovers and friends, but before some are dead and some are living. In my life, I love them all. But of all these friends and lovers, there is no Man, it feels so weird to see the type of dancing that I was into being done to this song. I'm trying not to laugh because, like, I don't know if I can ever dance to this song, but hey, he making it work. I'm gonna shut up. Okay, that was cold. He turned too. Like, this is literally my style of dance. <laughs> I'm going to shut up, bro. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for Allie, man. Lovely, lovely. Coming up, the street party is getting so hot. 
the Kaiser Chiefs have predicted a right. Man. I was gonna make a comment. Um there was one thing like I would love to see. Like I saw like one of my favorite rappers, which is Kendrick Lamar. Like he had did a performance, I think it was on either I think it was on Ellen. And he had him rapping and two people dancing. I, everybody should, I mean, I feel like if you're a Kendrick Lamar fan, you've probably seen this before. He had two people dancing and someone painting the two people dancing. So he had a painter, a man and a woman dancing, which they are together, and him rapping. Like, bro, that that is just one of my favorite videos and favorite performances of his because... He's really like, like he going really in like rapping, like his soul off type stuff. You got the two dancing and then the painter, they literally paint all this in a span of time that he's rapping and singing. You feel me? Like it's just a complete vibe. And I feel like I've never seen anyone else do it. You know what I'm saying? I've always, like I've seen like people dance, you know what I'm saying? To uh, someone singing and like music in the background. But, like, I've never seen, like, someone have, like, a a painter, like, literally doing that in the middle of, like, a performance. And then, like, he had the floor that was going, matching up with the beat, too. It was just a vibe. But, honestly, this video right here, I'm honestly just happy to see Allie getting the shine that she deserves, bro. Like, all this, like, the attention, like, the... Performing on stage, literally, I love it for her. Like, this is a huge stage. This is a huge little building here. Like, it looks like she said 10,000 people. Like, bird, <laughs> that's crazy. And that's just one building. One building, bro. Like, wherever this, like, this whole event was for, like, it has to be something, like, huge, bro. Like, Honestly, because performing in a place like this, like you just performing on the street, you know what I'm saying? Like in like like was it Dublin? I think it was Dublin. Performing on the street to performing in front of ten thousand people, like that's wild. It's kind of like you already performing in front of ten thousand people since you are posting it to YouTube. But like being on stage to where they can see you and you can see them, it it hits different, bro. Like. I'm honestly just happy that she's doing what she loves to do and getting recognition and, you know what I'm saying, like, I'll say she getting recognition and, like, respect, and it's going a long way. Like, I'm pretty sure this won't be her last performance on the stage as big as this, probably even bigger next time. But... Well, I can't even say probably it's going to happen bigger to next time. You know what I'm saying? She's, you know what I'm saying, performing in front of 10,000 people. Like, there's people that's, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm going to shut up. Just, I'm happy for her. That's, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that because if I start going in detail, it's going to be a long-ass video. It's already eight minutes long, and this video by itself is three. So, I'm going to shut up. I do hope y'all enjoy everything I had to say. Uh, tell me what y'all thought about my reaction in the comments below. If y'all do want to check out this video for yourself, it will be in the description below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Follow all my social media in the description below. They are all my dope AS6. And I don't know. I'll check y'all in two weeks because next week um, I'm going to be busy. You know, I check out every two weeks. I'm not trying to drop every week because I'm going to stress myself out. So for the people that know, you know. I just wanna cut loose, snip, fuck a job, fuck it. I can be my own boss, on oh God. Uh -huh. Just come up home, check, check.